Oh, hello and uh, good afternoon from a, a pleasantly sunny Bournemouth. Um, having done a load of other work around uh, uh, QTH today, um, the other thing I wanted to try out was uh, I found this uh, dipole antenna in the garden. I had no idea what band it was for. But, um, and it was a real mess, as of course it would be. Uh, having been left outside for God knows how long, they're all tangled up. So, uh, well, I got one of these um, Christmas light winders off Amazon, and it's uh, suited perfectly. I can wind wind the dipole onto there, no problem. Oh, yeah, look, it's coming back now. So, I'd say getting contacts on the FDA, anyway, yeah use this uh, winder which is uh, advertised for Christmas lights but it does wire as well yeah I, I use that to wind up this dipole um, but I've had this mast for a while um, to sew a beans pocket mast it's ever so small uh, hence the name that's not bad going made a contact into a Germany on the front garden. On 10 watts. But yeah, um, so the first thing I've done was just to set it up uh, in the garden, see if I had enough space, not knowing what band it was for. And then uh, got up got up on the mast. The mark the mask goes into a ground spike. Uh, all this all comes uh, in the one bag all comes together and you can see what the, the spike looks like there um, that goes in and uh, the mask goes on top so obviously it's not mega high but I've got my dipole attached to it okay um, I then went about uh, using the wig expert oh you got the uh, see what bands it was resident on and um, I'm, I'm really not sure what 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 it's advertised as I, I'm, I'm not sure at all uh, but with the um, mat tuner I'm getting an SWR of, um, 1 to 2 around 2 to 1 sorry just below 2 to 1 with 10 watts no, I'm, uh, and the important thing is my signal is getting out. Uh, we have a quick look at PSK Reporter. So yeah, on, on 10 watts on a ad hoc dipole getting into East Coast America. And I've picked up signals from Asia and I'm getting out to uh, Asiatic Russia. So yeah, that's good. Um, and what I learned, which was, uh, which was good, um, I had that same recurring issue I had with the um, the other whip antenna that sits on the 705 bag. Uh, so, because I'm just because I'm at home, this is a good opportunity. I, I've got everything here, so I've got obviously all my connectors, and I've also got this um, common mode choke. Uh, that I can put in line between me and the dipole. And that has done the job. I'm not getting any signal back into the radio and it's not cutting off. So, um, yeah, brilliant that column. It's a bit big, um, but it, I think it's still definitely carryable, definitely in a backpack. Um, I, I could definitely carry that. It's, it's not massive and heavy, is it? Um, and it's nicely designed. So, yeah, uh, that, that's definitely something I could use. So, yeah, it's. Um, Already made one one contact as you just saw on uh, FT8. Uh, I tried Whisper as well with um, 0 0.1, 0 0.01 watt of power, and I, I got out there no problem at all. Um, all over Europe, I could see there. So D O I, yeah, Spain, Germany. Not sure what Y is. Should really know. There we go. 
yeah, as you can see, you know, the little dipole, um, certainly getting out, no problem whatsoever. Um, so the thing is, like, will, will this be an antenna that I take out? Is it going to be better than using the Alex loop? So obviously there's the, the setup of the mast and then guiding uh, the antenna, sorry, the, the, the wires. Um, that was no problem at home whatsoever. The only thing I'd worry about out in somewhere like um, New Forest or any other POTA location would be people walking into this. Or, and, you know, mostly because they'd probably damage it, not that they'd hurt them. But yeah, with 10 watts going into it, it's not something you particularly want people to hurt themselves. But, um, but yeah, I think, I think it's a good antenna. Uh, and certainly something that I would uh, consider taking out on uh, one of my future poters. Um, just to see how it does. Maybe more of a springtime one because the weather's nice at home today. Um, and so I'm kind of shielded by the wind by the buildings as much as uh, it's protecting me. But it's not overly windy. You can see the top of the trees over there. It's not windy today. But um, yeah, I mean, this mast, travel mast, is uh, a really good uh, system. Um, I like the fact it's got a ground stake. Uh, I could push that into, into the ground without any problems. And the, the mast takes the, uh, the weight of the dipole um, without any issue. And in the introduction of the, the choke filter and the tuner has given me, a bit, me the ability to um, operate FT8 uh, with low interference back into the computer and the transceiver. There you go. All in all, not a bad little uh, experiment. And uh, next time we'll be see, see if the weather holds uh, as we get towards the spring. Take her out somewhere, it's nice. I think, um, see how she performs on the air. How on an actual poter. Oh, that'll do for now, it's only freeze.